Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Anua Heartleaf Quercentinol Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. This product retails for $13. This is the cleanser from Anua and I have not tried this product before. I'm super excited to try it. It does claim it is a pore deep cleanser though, so I am a little bit nervous about that because usually when I see that in cleansers, it means it is a little bit more stripping for the skin. I haven't heard much about this product, so I am excited to see how it performs. This product is vegan, cruelty free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Main things I'll be looking for with it mainly include does it strip the skin? How does it leave the skin feeling? Does it feel tight and dry or does it just kind of leave a normal finish? I also want to test the effectiveness of this cleanser and see how well it does at cleansing. As for anything else, I'll be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I have actually not used the product yet. This will be a completely first impression. Right off the bat, it feels almost like the consistency of like a clay mask that's kind of what it's replicating so there are a little particles in it but I don't think it has any physical exfoliation to it at least I can't feel that on my wrist it does foam up pretty nice what I am a little bit concerned about with this product is that it's going to be a little bit dry but I'm going to go in on dry skin and just see how it performs. It's not an exfoliating cleanser, but I do feel little particles in it. It's not like exfoliating, but that is just something I'm noticing. Another thing I'm noticing with it is the fragrance is pretty potent in this product. It does have a pretty strong smell to it. So if that is something you're sensitive to, then definitely avoid this product. So far, it's feeling like a good lather cleanser. It, did really good. Let's see what happens when I add water. Okay, this does foam up. I do enjoy the smell of it. Like it's something that is not too overpowering, but it definitely is there. I'm interested to see if this product will be drying because it is a foaming cleanser. It does seem like more of a purifying cleanser. I will be seeing if I feel like it's more designed for oily skin. That's kind of what I'm assuming at the moment, but that is prone to change. Already before patting my skin dry, my skin does feel pretty tight. Yeah, this feels like it could be a good summertime cleanser or a cleanser for oily skin. I'm not sure this is the right time for me to be trying it, but like right off the bat, it does feel just a tad bit stripping. I'm not sure if that's something that's going to have longevity or if it's just what I'm feeling right now, but it definitely is a more purifying cleanser. My skin does feel a little bit dry and I feel like I need to go in with a pretty rich moisturizer after it. So I'm gonna continue using it, just see what else I notice, then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I did enjoy this cleanser, but I feel like it is more designed for oily skin type. I found that when I used it more than once a day, it was just a little bit stripping for my skin. On the flip side of that, I felt like this was a very nice clarifying cleanser and it will be great for acne prone skin. At at least in my experience, I found that using it once a day was significantly helping my acne. It's just when I would use it twice a day, I found it to be a little bit too drying. I definitely don't feel like this cleanser is designed with dry skin in mind. It's not a terribly stripping cleanser, meaning that I do feel like oily skin could still use it, but it definitely is a little bit more of a purifying cleanser, so I just don't feel like it is really designed for dry skin. As for repurchasing, I'm not sure that I would gravitate towards this cleanser just because it was one that I could only use once a day. I do really enjoy this cleanser and I do see myself gravitating towards it to use more in the summer. It definitely is not a wintertime product for me, but it would be great to use at night. I didn't experience any sensitivity with this cleanser and once I eased off to once a day, I felt like it was perfect, but I would still be careful with this cleanser because it could be a little bit too drying for certain skin types. Overall though, if you do have acne, I feel like this will improve that. I can't testify for everybody, but I can just testify for myself and say that this product definitely did help clear some breakouts that I was having. It just was a little bit too drying whenever I used it both day and night. I found my favorite time to use this cleanser was at night. So I would recommend it if you are more oily or you're looking for a more purifying cleanser. Like I said, this would be a perfect summertime product. Other than that though, I don't really see myself gravitating towards it if I am a little bit 
bit more dry. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.